our NBC News reporters are following all of the latest developments, and we begin with the war in Gaza and new pictures showing the site of a massive explosion at a refugee camp just a few miles outside of Gaza City. NBC's Raf Sanchez is reporting from Ashdod, Israel. What do we know about this? So, Chris, this explosion happened at the Jabalia refugee camp. This is the largest of the eight refugee camps in Gaza. It is, as you said, in the northern end of the Gaza Strip. It's close to the Israeli border. We are seeing just the scenes of enormous destruction there inside that refugee camp. Uh, a local hospital official tells us dozens of people were killed. We don't have an exact number, but dozens of people were killed many, many more injured. And Chris, in just the last couple of minutes, the Israeli military has confirmed that it was one of their strikes which caused that explosion in the refugee camp. They say that they successfully targeted a senior Hamas military leader who was responsible for one of the commando units involved in the massacre inside of Israel on October 7th. The Israeli military is saying they were targeting him. They were targeting underground tunnels inside of this camp. They say they successfully killed him. They say they successfully killed a number of Hamas officials who were with him. And they are confirming that what they're calling underground terrorist infrastructure beneath buildings inside that camp collapsed after the strike. Now, Chris, you can see in those pictures, there are just these absolutely enormous craters. Those could be a sign of these massive Israeli bunker buster bombs, which they use. It could be that the bomb itself caused the foundations of neighboring buildings to collapse. It could also be, as the Israeli military says, that there were tunnels underneath these buildings and that the buildings basically collapsed into these exposed tunnels. We should be really clear. We cannot get into Gaza. We cannot access this refugee camp. We cannot verify the Israeli military's claim that they have successfully killed a senior Hamas leader and that they were targeting tunnels. We do know this is happening in the northern end of Gaza, which is where most of this fighting is concentrated. The Israeli ground forces are surrounding Gaza City, which is up in the north. They have been urging Israeli civilian, uh, Palestinian civilians, excuse me, to flee south. They are saying that they will be safe if they go south. But, Chris, the reality is Israeli strikes are continuing in the south, too. They are hitting in Khan Yunus. They are hitting in other areas. The United Nations is saying there is nowhere safe for Palestinians right now, to say nothing of the dire shortages they are facing, food, medicine, basics. And as we were talking about in the last hour, the UN humanitarian organizations say they need fuel. No fuel has got into Gaza since October 7th. And they say without it, they cannot keep the lights on at hospitals and they cannot distribute that frankly rather small amount of aid, which has made it in so far from Egypt. Chris.